Uh, Brought to you by competing. Barber Behavioral Health, a service of Barber National Institute. Yeah, our series on mental health and, and making it a focus here, especially in the month of May. But Chris Elliott, uh, welcome in and thanks Thank so you. much for, for being back with us. Uh, so yeah, it, it's all month long. We've been focusing on it for a couple of months, but, but really honing in here in the month of May. Yeah, so May is a beautiful day. Why not restart? You know, people have probably uh, given up their New Year's resolution. Probably right? <laughs> long ago. Yeah, right? I think so. so it's a beautiful day. We can get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. So today we're going to talk about the four pillars of mental health. Okay, go ahead. What are they? Those are social, emotional, physical, and mental. So, you know, what you just talked about is, you know, our body and minds are linked. So we have to work on all of those aspects for us to be truly healthy physically and mentally. I think that's, that's so interesting. Mental health is only one part of actual mental health. There's yep. so much more that goes into it. And a lot of times it's uh, little things that we can be doing. You know, we talked about this before, but uh, Einstein says uh, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. And we're not talking about money this time, but we're gonna talk about little things that you can do that when they add up can actually be big impacts. So, you know, there's four weeks in the month of May. What if you just broke down into smaller components? So mm. you can tackle the physical, the mental, the social and emotional. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, you know, I'm gonna change my whole diet. How often does that work? Yeah, Never, not Never, often. Right? So what about if you just said, I'm gonna eat 10 more grams of protein a day? That's manageable, yes, right? Sure. Yeah. You know, for your emotional side, your social side, you know, make that phone call to that friend that you you've been trying to do, right? Mm. That helps your uh, social side, um, physical side. Go for a ten-minute walk. Right. Right. I can't squeeze in an hour of exercise every day, but if I do ten minutes of walking, you know, that has a big impact. Mm -hmm. Um, and finally, your emotional side, one important thing is a sense of gratitude. I think we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. You know, spend a few minutes every day just being, uh, express what you're thankful for. So if you do one of those each week. I love the, that. By yeah. the end of this month, we have four new habits that we've started. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't this whole big thing of right. me changing my diet, me changing, uh, you know, exercising every day for an hour. Um, so I, another quote that I just read uh, if you if you improve one percent every day for a year, you end up thirty seven times greater than when you started. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those little things can make a big yeah. impact. I like uh, for this uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, the theme mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. year is take the moment. And I like that because all of those things, just break it down, just enjoy the moment. Think, take, just, t just tackle this moment. Very small steps, small increments. Yeah. Because I think for a lot of people when they are struggling with mental health, it seems too big to tackle, yeah. right? Definitely, so like make that phone call. Mm. You know, make call your therapist, join a support group. Uh, NAMI has a, a lot, another uh, provider of sources and resources in town. They're gonna have events during the Mental Health um, Awareness Month. Uh, the East Side Y has one coming up next week, Wednesday at, from six to eight mm. for women's mental health and wellness. Mm. So there, you know, there's gonna be community events about uh, mental health this month. So take advantage, take that one small step. Yeah. And maybe start with that 10 minute walk outside on this beautiful exactly. Wednesday. Yes, Chris Elliott, thanks so much for being no here. I love that idea. Break it down into those weeks. Again, there's the information for Barber Behavioral Health as we focus on your mental health here in the month of May. Take the moment. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Coming up on First at Four, the run for Kentucky. Mike Ruzzi, Philip Ward, and the sponsor of their road trip, Erie County Community College. All be here on the blue couches talking about their next <laughs> adventure.